My name is Alexa. I am 27 years old and I've lived in Philadelphia almost my whole entire life and I still currently live there. I used a 12-step fellowship to maintain my sobriety with a lot of um, therapy as well. I was in therapy. Um, I was also pregnant. Um, you know, I had my son at six months, almost about six months sober, give or take. That fellowship loved me until I could learn to love myself and that was like a key point in my sobriety, was learning to love myself and learning to forgive myself. I've learned to keep a positive outlook on my life and all the things I've gone through. Like today I can look at my past and put a positive spin on it. When I stopped beating myself up and I started to forgive myself, my whole entire world got better. I'm engaged. Um, we just purchased a home. Um, I can lay my head down at night and actually go to sleep. Um, where before I wouldn't, I was just plagued with nightmares and terrors and like my thoughts were always racing. Um, I have peace of mind today. I have these beautiful relationships with human beings today and like that just means like sitting down having a cup of coffee and talking about the stuff that like a lot of people don't care to ask. Like when I get to know people today, I really want to know them inside, like who they really are, what makes them tick. Like I get to have the privilege to have people in my life today. There is definitely a stigma that goes around being addicted to opiates or just any type of substance in general. And like, all I can do is be compassionate. People need to hear that when they first try getting sober is like, these people out there, their opinions don't matter. There's hope. There is hope. If you're still breathing, there's hope for you. You just gotta, you just gotta fight for it. You know, you, you have to, you have to want it. The amount of gratitude I have that I'm even alive today is there's not words for it.